Okay, this is Pastor Dana, and uh, I had a dream on Monday night, August 10th, and uh, I haven't said a lot about it because I know when I when I share this is going to make some people mad. And my life's my life's not been the same since I posted that first dream. I never asked for this. I never asked for God to show me anything. I was doing a series on dreams and visions. I thought maybe I'll get some dreams. Maybe some others will get some dreams. But uh, it's been different. It's been a lot different. Um, there's been some concerns from my family because of the dreams I've posted. People showing up at my door um, who then get arrested in my community for being violent. Um, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls, a lot of messages. I'm not doing this for notoriety. No one's. I'm not getting paid to do this. I had a dream. I simply had a dream. And I'm sharing them because... Um, there are things that God, I believe, is showing me that the country needs to see. So I'm just going to share this, and you can do with it what you want. Um, I'm not asking God to give me any more. I've not prayed God to give me another dream since I had the first one. They keep coming. And uh, so I dreamt I was in the month of October. I saw the month of October as a calendar and was waving like, like it was being blown by, a, by a, a strong wind, not a fitful wind, not violent, just kind of a fitful wind, you know. And I saw a finger appear and it pointed to the second week of October and it dragged the finger through the third week of the month. So it covered second and third week of October. And then it pointed October 31st and it held the position. It just kind of tapped it and held it. The first thing I saw was a rock. It came flying out of the sky and it landed in a large pond. And the ripples started off small, but then they became like vicious waves. Um, like, like when a wind begins to blow stronger and the ripples start to go further out. I saw federally elected officials, faces I recognize. Um, I saw specific state governors. I saw agency leaders. And I saw just radicals, like the people you'd see in Portland or Seattle, Seattle or, or Minneapolis. Um, but they had wicks coming out of their head, almost like a, like a firecracker wick, like a firework wick. And the second week of October is when I saw simultaneously all those wicks coming out of the heads were lit on fire. Federal officials had heads that were the shape of like an old M80. Those folks from the 70s and 80s remember those. The governors had a head shaped like the black cat firecrackers, the, you know, the one and a half, two inch firecrackers. Everybody else had the smaller like ladyfinger style firework, crack, you know, firecracker fireworks. These people are talking and they're starting to get animated. They're starting. They're yelling. They're screaming. Uh, the facial images went from normal and calm to red face, jumping to an absolute out of your mind, uh, out of your mind primal scream. And everybody's head blew up at the same time. These people were still alive, but their heads had blown up. And this resulted in sparks and debris flying all over the area where they were standing. And it started fires around them. And then I saw the protests that were taking place, that were still taking place in October. They went up another notch because the, the bystanders who were, who were part of the protests and that were there, that were not being very, very violent and not really getting us involved, the protesters basically said, if you're not doing that, you're not one of us. And they began to assault those protesters who were not deemed as violent or as vicious as they should be. And I saw some of those protesters left on the side of the road almost like they were dead. They'd been beaten because they weren't, protesting like the other ones were. They weren't doing all those things that they should have done. If they weren't complicit, they were beat on. I saw I saw the elderly people, and this is what got me, I saw elderly people being attacked. It was an attack on older Americans, the people that hold the Constitution dear, the flag dear, the people that have the, the, the common sense uh, values, commitment to faith and biblical principles. I even saw people trying to get into nursing homes and nursing facilities to attack older people. That's what I saw in the dream. And then I saw a $100 bill, a big $100 bill about the size of a flag. It was hanging like a flag on a pole. And it was burning from one corner. And it was being lowered 
like at the end of the day. And I saw people with their hands over their hearts and they were crying because their God of money was just being lowered. It, was, it had lost its value. And it burned until it was about a third of it left. It was a celebration. People were celebrating. While, while some Americans were just devastated and torn up by what they saw happening, there were people celebrating that the dollar had died. It was dying, the value of the American dollar. There was someone even playing taps in the background. And then I saw churches, small churches, small groups of people kneeling and praying. They were wrestling in prayer with the spirit of the age. But these people were protected by bubbles. Bubbles of safety. There were angels guarding them around, or guarding around them. And these were the faithful core of the church that had not been compromised in their values and their faith. They were being encouraged to stay, to stand strong. They were being encouraged to keep preaching, praying, believing. And there were relentless attacks against them. Just like the ones I saw in, in the September dream. There was just relentless attacks against them. But they stayed faithful. They were in the heat of the battle. They were praying. They were fighting. They were wrestling. I said with the spirit of the age, but they were fighting to stay faithful. And they were very few in numbers, but that didn't bother them. And I saw behind each of these, each of these, each of these people praying, I saw a small gate. And I was reminded of Matthew 7, um, 13 and 14. Enter by the narrow gate. Enter by the small road. They never stood up, even though they'd walked through that gate. They just they were right there beside it. But then I saw puffed up pastors and I saw puffed up prophets. Very expensive suits. And they were preaching against the idea of persecution coming. They they promised prosperity, that they promised health and wealth and only good things and and uh and they spoke like their words, as they spoke, their words were like they were slurred, like they were drunk. And suddenly their clothes were coming off, their tie was loosened and taken off, their shirt was taken off. And pretty soon they were standing there completely naked. And I saw this rug pulled out from underneath them and they go flying up in the air and they're, and they're trying to cover their, their, their modesty while they're up in the air. But as they were flowing in the air I saw money flying out you know, I saw money flying out from them, all the money that they'd gotten from all the prophecies and, and ministries and things they'd done selfishly. I saw that money just kind of flying. But when they landed on the ground, this is another thing that just really got me. When they landed on the ground, all of them that landed on the ground that were all puffed up bit through their tongues as they landed. And pieces of those tongues went flying. And they were trying to reach out to grab them, but they were always they were beyond the reach. I was reminded of the story of the Emperor's new clothes. They were exposed. And then the scene went back to those that were praying, and the warfare was still tense, but the present strength was obvious in those that were praying. And then it switched to one last scene. I saw clowns in suits, like circus clowns. And they were they were pouring buckets of oil and grease on the ground in front of election venues. And the sign said, you know, ele elections so many days away, weeks away, like weeks away. But these clowns were dancing and acting like clowns. They were juggling. And there were people trying to get to, to vote, but they were slipping. They were sliding past the doors and they couldn't get in to vote. And, and the clowns were actually trying to distract these people from, from doing what they were supposed to do. And they were, they were doing it in a professional way. They were juggling, but they were doing skits. But the skits were sinister. And they were abusive. And they watched anybody approaching the ballot, the, the, well, the, not the ballot box, but approaching the venue, the building where they were going to vote. They looked at them with suspicion and angst. If they were doing everything they could to keep people from voting, they were trying to distract them from what was going on. And then I saw this big billboard. And it said, Passover 2021. Big things are coming for the world. Big things are coming for the world. 
and that white figure appeared. And he said, do not stop bracing for the storm will not pass until I stop the storm. So brace, brace, brace yourselves and don't look back.